find. Come on. No. Oh, what a day. I just finished aquatic therapy. It's five o'clock. There's a rainbow over there. That's why I was trying to film. But it disappeared because it's raining. Um, more than it's sunny. <laughs> I'm heading home. I've had a hectic day, but aquatic therapy is really nice. I really like it. I just wish it wasn't so far away from home and so stressful to get to and home from. I'm so tired. I'm getting a latte <laughs> or a coffee at Starbucks before I drive home. At... It's really stormy. hear you talking in here. Oh, what is going on up here? I've got a, got a thing to play with. Did your new therapist give you this? Whoa! Look at that. It's really squishy. Are you tired? Is this your phone in the bathroom or is this Chris's phone? It's mine. Oh. We're going to turn off your little light. There we go. Well, it went off. You had a good day. You had therapy. You stood and you sat in the chair, all the chairs. I had to go to pool therapy today. So I missed his physical therapist, who's a new one. So I'll touch base with her, but Chris was here. The nurse was here. Dale looks good. He's doing well. So busy, busy, busy day trying to stay positive. Hey, John. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh my goodness. It is Friday. And I just went to the doctor. My pain doctor who did my injection. Things are going fair, you know. And I think I'm going to go back in four weeks, he said. They might do another injection way before even considering surgery because of my progress with therapy and how I'm feeling. So even though I have pain with fibromyalgia and with the back, I'm still not, I guess, a good surgical candidate at this point, so. That's fine, I'll just keep working hard, <laughs> I'm okay. This is like, this is going, this is going to, back downstairs to Thomas's man cave, or downstairs. So John went to his dad's today to, well he went to buy fertilizer and then he went to do some work at his father's and we're borrowing the truck because we're going to take a lot of stuff to the dump. I have wing chairs. See these wing chairs? Ah! Holly, these. There's two of them and an ottoman. See the ottoman? A, a man is supposed to pick those up today. So it is opening up the basement <laughs> where Thomas... You know, Thomas is downstairs, but there's been old furniture kind of stacked up down there. So I'm, I'm just finally like uh, motivated to to clean things out and it feels kind of good. I just sold an old file cabinet which was actually in great shape, but I didn't need a big office file cabinet in my living room, right? So I have lots of file drawers that are empty in my desk. So I was like, I don't need this thing. So I sold that and then I have a bed upstairs that somebody's interested, a hutch, another chair here that's going at about three o'clock. I never did this before. I never did the Facebook thing where you sell things through Facebook Marketplace, but, and so far everyone has been really nice. <laughs> oh, sorry, now I'm outside with the dogs. They're at the door. Come on. Yeah, so that's keeping me busy. It's hard work, you know, but I read an article about when you're thinking about selling your home, if you've been in it for decades or a long time, to start way in advance cleaning things out and uh, decluttering. I don't know, there's something about September. I always seem to either have a tag sale or donate or sell stuff because not only is it a good time to, to do that, I'm trying to work, sell, clean, organize, take care of things, and things are just not easy right now with a lot of stuff. But you gotta, you just gotta keep going and going and affirmations you know I have to, I have to write them down anyway she encouraged me to write my affirmations down which I should do that but there are things like I'm the fixer I see the positive in every situation 
I try to be a good person. <laughs> you know, a lot of things that are not always the case. Come on. I'm trying to affirm things that will help me keep my stress down because that's the biggest factor in weight loss and health is stress. The biggest. If you're under stress, you will become sick. It might not happen now, but it will happen. The stress will increase. If you don't manage it, you will become physically or mentally sick. You have to work on it, just like anything else. You know? Come on! Physical fitness, weight loss, all those things, meeting goals, studying, going to school, learning something new, everything. Ah, relationships, religion, all of it. It all ties in, and if you're a person who just lets your stress engulf you, you will become sick, you will become depressed, you will become sad, you will become a jerk to people, <laughs> you will become poor, you won't be able to make ends meet, you can't find resolutions to things, you just, you just worry and stress and complain yourself into more problems. So I work on that every day, every single day. Sometimes more than other days, but when I walk these dogs, see me in my yard on the vlogs a lot, that's when I say a prayer, breathe deep, think about things, and think about what really matters, and focus, right? Because I can worry just like everyone else. I get really worried, you know. Ah, oh, you know, got some big things going on. And I feel it coming like this sick anxiety stress and I can't even focus on my family. I can't think about what what I need to. Come on. So it's not easy. It's like with my back. Like I told the doctor today, I have a disc that's bulging. I have pain, right? I need to exercise. Exercise hurts me. But I need to stretch and be stronger do all the things that they want me to do. I need to lose weight and I need to focus on good health and, um, and stress release, relief, reduction. <laughs> but the pain's still there. The pain doesn't go away. <laughs> Just having surgery or taking a pill isn't gonna make the pain go away. Actually, sometimes the pain is good because the pain tells us how we're doing, right? Let's go. Do do do. Do do do. Do 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 do. Boop. Do 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 do. Are we done? Are we done? I gotta clean this old wheelchair, which is got some mold on it. It was in the garage. I'm gonna throw away the straps, I think. I don't think I can get that clean, but um the main frame of the chair is in excellent shape so hopefully i can clean it and donate it to an organization that takes them refurbishes them and gives them to other kids but it's pretty boat pretty gross so i don't know it's sitting there because i didn't want it in the garage because it had mold on it so i have a power washer and i'm going to come out here and try to clean it and I don't want to breathe the mold, so. Come on. I hope this guy comes to get these chairs soon because they're in the middle of my house here. Ah, so I sold the green chairs to a guy who is a pastor in Shelton. In Shelton. And he was as nice as can be. He came pick them up. So today I sold a children's chair two big wing chairs and an ottoman and a file cabinet. And I made, what, about a hundred bucks? Not bad. It's all about clearing out and cleaning out. And now I feel so like invigorated. You okay? What are you doing? Hi. You all right? You sleeping? Or just blinking? I'll be back in a little while, just in case you were going to fall asleep on me. Love ya.
Let's go take an edge of the alley. Come on. Come on. What you doing? Some friends want to come in and study. Mm -hmm. today we um, had a picnic for the band and then they had a show tonight but it was raining out so Daniel's nurse was here till 7 the show was like I think they performed at 6 30 so because of all that I decided not to go out I'm glad I didn't because I guess they didn't even do the whole show and it was cold and raining so whatever so Daniel's been with his nurse and she's lovely I really like her kind of boring day I think I had macaroni and cheese for dinner from Costco because that's what I had and I took spinach and made like a drink and that's John was out volunteering so yeah nothing exciting really guys kind of a blah day I think one of the nice things is my half an hour long FaceTime with Sarah and she spent time saying hi to Daniel and doggies and kitties say hi you need to go back to sleep. Mm. <laughs> You're awake now? Mm. You're awake now? Mm. No? Yeah? Alright, he's awake now. I gotta get him back to sleep here. It's not that late yet, anyway. It's only 9 o'clock. <laughs> so I hope everyone's having a great night. I'm gonna say good night from the Hasselberger world. I'll follow the camera because you're cute mm. and you're sweet and I love you.